The Adventure of SpongeBob Made by Me in November 20th, 2015 is probably one of the best games I've ever done and you'll see why. Right now it may not seem like anything that good, like actually, but we'll get to when it's actually good. Like for example, this, the song that's playing right now is good. It doesn't fit the mood that well, but... <laughs> Patricia saves opening the doors. Good luck! Patricia saves opening the doors. Like I say, this is 5 years ago, so this is when I was like... 10. I was 10 years old with them when I made this game. This is basically like a, a pseudo puzzle game. Because... There are definitely puzzles in this in this game, but you can cheese most of them. Like for example, this one you can literally just keep by mashing the up arrow. I don't know why that happens, that's just a problem that happens with most Splutter games, I think. Or maybe it just happens with this one, I'm not really sure. But yeah, this game is basically all about saving Patrick as Bob Sponge, which fun fact comes from the fact that the show in Spanish, my my language, the language that I spoke when I was 10, in, in that language it's actually called, the show is called Bob Esponja and not Bob Spongebob. So that's why it's that way, because Bob is a name, and Sponge is Sponja. So I obviously thought, oh, grammar works the same across all languages, but it doesn't. There's some things that are definitely not good, like for example that Podapoo, I was impressed with it before but now I aren't, and the sprites for some reason moves, and kind of like rotates in a really weird way, like look, it's still running in the air the sprite, it doesn't, it doesn't, it does it not make sense. This level is supposed to be like hard, but you can literally just press right and win. If you if you are lucky enough, basically how you win this level is basically just just start the level and hold right. You will lose you will lose a bit, but literally nothing else than rather than. And here we are. The reason why I actually wanted to talk about this game, as you can see, left and right on the top of the screen there's two spongebobs and you'll notice a pattern right there they both move at the same time with the same keys like if i press like if i press a uh, up up they will jump at the same time and such so this puzzle basically uh, goes around the thing that you must watch out for both and make sure they they aren't like in a bad situation like for example that right one yet almost fell and this is kind of bad like this is the is why this puzzle is kind of tricky do you have to actually think because if you don't then that happens you can't complete the puzzle anymore so you just gotta commit die the way you solve this puzzle is by just basically doing it as you would normally with any game then when you get the key you get the other one out but without going too much far to the left, so that the left one cannot fall. I use I I I I, I. and then you do the same with the right one, but at a different time. And then you open that key, and then you can literally just beat the game. For this one, this one puzzle is the one thing I why I actually wanted to talk about this game, and it still surprises me to this day that this is the best puzzle that I. Have ever done and it's in one of the smartest levels I've done it's not that complicated but it's certainly cool and as to if and another reason why I wanted to talk about this game too it's because it's going away kind of soon in in like 10 days mainly because uh, in December Fla Flash is just going to go away and you're not going to be able to play this game once Flash is gone and I don't think that you can like download the, the game at all either way so it's also that 
Though I would, I wouldn't also think to do a remake of this game because I think I would have to do it in Splutter, and since Splutter is dying with Flash, it wouldn't be that good of, a, of an idea to be given away. And remaking the game as it is, it's not that good either way, because the game, the game has the core principles of a game. It's not that fun. It's mildly fun at most, so I will have to rework most of the game, and obviously the music is something I can't just keep like it is now, because obviously I don't have the permission of Muno to use Le Bel Oiseau. L Le Bel Oiseau? How do you spell that? Um, and yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I almost died. I almost died, dude. But before I go, I have to I have to share a little story. Just to play this one game, I had to re-download and reinstall Flash, which is kind of insane. So it obviously took a lot of work to just reinstall the game a lot. So if you could just unsubscribe, my content is not good enough. Come back when it's actually good. Thanaki watch